Oh, we can do today's lesson together this morning. It's a review again. It's a lesson 57. And the first one to review is I am not the victim of the world I see. I am not the victim of the world I see. How can I be the victim of a world that can be completely undone if I so choose? How can I be the victim of a world that can be completely undone if I so choose? My chains are my chains are loosened. I can drop them off merely by desiring to do so. I can drop them off merely by desiring to do so. The prison door is open. I can leave simply by walking out. Nothing holds me in this world. Only my wish to stay keeps me a prisoner. Only my wish to stay keeps me a prisoner. I would give up my insane wishes and walk into the sunlight at last. And number two, I have invented the world I see. I made up the prison in which I see myself. All I need do is recognize this, and I am free. I made up the prison in which I see myself. All I need do is recognize this, and I am free. I have deluded myself into believing it is possible to imprison the Son of God. I was bitterly mistaken in this belief, which I no longer want. The Son of God must be forever free. He is as God created him, and not what I would make of him. He is where God would have him be, and not where I thought to hold him prisoner. This is a description of we have read in many ways, in many places, that we imprison the Son of God with our beliefs. But this is not what we want anymore. I want to let go of this. Number three, there is another way of looking at the world. Since the purpose of the world is not the one I ascribe to it, there must be another way of looking at it. I see everything upside down, and my thoughts are the opposite of truth. I see the world as a prison for God's Son. It must be, then, that the world is really a place where he can be set free. I would look upon the world as it is and see it as a place where the Son of God finds his freedom. Number four, I could see peace instead of this. I could see peace instead of this. When I see the world as a place of freedom, I realize that it reflects the laws of God instead of the rules I made up for it to obey. I will understand that peace, not war, abides in it. And I will perceive that peace also abides in the hearts of all who share this place with me. It's beautiful. Number five, my mind is part of God's. I am very holy. As I share the peace of the world with my brothers, 
I began to understand. My be <clears throat> As I share the peace of the world with my brothers, I began to understand that this peace comes from deep within myself. The world I look upon has taken on the light of my forgiveness and shines forgiveness back at me. In this light, I began to see what my illusions about myself kept hidden. I began to understand the holiness of all living things, including myself and their oneness with me. It's really like the movie we watched last night. Mm -hmm. We watched Dark City, and at the end, he, I think this is the last um, part of the reviews. My mind is part of God's. I'm very holy. As I share the peace of the world with my brothers, I begin to understand this peace comes from deep within myself. And that's exactly what happened. Peace came from himself. He needed to find it within. Nobody outside really knew. He found it and then he shared it. It naturally was shared. He found his brother or his sister in the light. In the light of forgiveness. And in the light, I begin to see what my illusions about myself kept hidden. I begin to see what my illusions about myself kept hidden. I begin to understand the holiness of all living things, including myself and their oneness with me. This is really lovely. We can go within and practice these review lessons. Allow the truth of them really sink in. I'm not the victim of the world I see. I have invented the world I see. There's another way of looking at the world. I could see peace instead of this. Our mind is part of God's. I am very holy.
and in this inner space. Letting ourselves be completely present, completely here. There is nothing else. Or no place else. Just this holy instant. Continually born anew. Just allow your mind to stay in this restful, quiet peace. If you, have, if you have a worry or fear, just keep giving it over. To the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a light that shines away problems. Isn't it a gift to have access to a light that can shine away anything that doesn't help us? But our mind is as powerful as it's described in the lesson.
we want to release our twisted beliefs, our unhelpful beliefs, which is all beliefs that don't have forgiveness in them. So if anyone has anything you'd like to get into this morning, something you'd like help with, we are at your service. My heart is pounding right now, and uh, I mm. think what I want to share is this uh, just this um, like outburst of anxiety that I seem to have uh, coming up uh, at the moment, and, and even just in the meditation, and it's so ridiculously small things um, and it's so intense for me um, yeah I think I just I just really want to not hide it mm -hmm. I had it several times yesterday and, and just yeah in the meditation and it's it's um, I just, I can, I can see this old habit of going into uh, catastrophe thinking of the future. What if, what if this should happen? What if, and it's, you know, just small things like, yeah, in the meditation, it was just been coming up that about us being married, that all these situations about, oh, well, what am I going to do if it suddenly faints or, you know, who am I going to, it's just <laughs> taking me into, <sighs> yeah. But, you know, and I, and I heard Huckabee's when he goes into the sleeping yeah. bag to meditate. <laughs> yeah, it feels like that. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I just feel it and all my body is going into this kind of freeze, uh, panic state. Yeah, and you do but have the, that addiction. Like you said, you have an addiction to, you didn't say that, but we talked about that before, to, to the catastrophe and yeah. finding, even finding something to get anxious about. It's a habit. And maybe you too should journal instead of trying to meditate. If you because you don't meditate when you <laughs> catastrophize. No. <laughs> it's the opposite of meditation. <laughs> no, so maybe, I, I just uh, yeah. sit this tension. Yeah. Maybe have pen and paper and just write down thoughts to let them go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or if you can just practice to release. I, I experienced the release in it by actually just sharing it uh, yesterday um, on this roof where, where we went for the walk and, and going from one roof to the other. And there's this, this step, like not, not much, but it goes straight down. And I simply just, I, I, I couldn't move my feet. I was terrified, but just actually allowing that up and, and getting it out, crying, saying, this is how I feel, this is, you know, I'm totally stuck here. And, 
and, and a good example that is Solway. What a good example that is. <laughs> the gap is only little and it's only that space, but everything else is solid ground. But somehow your mind focuses on that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's an example of not no you know, maybe you can focus on the on the start stable ground on the yeah. bright future that is in the Holy Spirit's hands, you know, instead of potential problems that your mind makes up. Mm. Yeah. I reached out uh, after going around on the roof several times and crying and expressing, and I, I just came back and I, I, just, I couldn't physically move my feet. Uh, I just reached out for Peter's hand, and then then I could. I actually stepped over that gap. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think I can see it. It's it's just to really release this. It feels so huge. This minor little thing just blows up like. Yeah. When, when you stop making snowballs, you can yeah. join our band, Solid Determination. Further it. Determination. <laughs> it could also be Solid Determination. That's true. I like that too. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Feels good. Feels intense, but it feels good. <laughs> it's beautiful that the key was to reach out to Peter's hand. Yeah, I could see the symbol in that. Yeah. Nothing is difficult to do with firm resolve and taking your brother's hand. That line in the course is so powerful. And my deep pattern from the past is never ever reach out there, you know, ever. That's too dangerous. I even just speaking out about my thoughts in the meditation and you laughing at it, it's, it's just... <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the past, I would have felt so ashamed. This is just, it's good to join with you and laughing at this. Yeah. Yeah. Good. We just abolish fear and anxiety and we laugh and we allow that lightness. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. their determination yeah it's our band <laughs> solid determination that's true that's very solid <laughs> love you so much everyone yeah lots of love mm -hmm.